In this video, we are going to see about state or current control of induction motor, then torque equation, its beta characteristics. There are different speed control techniques for induction motor. We have already seen about the stator voltage control, stator frequency control and stator voltage and frequency control. So all these methods we have already seen in the previous video. Now we are going to see about stator current control. All these four methods are suitable for both squirrel cage induction motor as well as slip ring induction motor. In addition, we have two more techniques which are applicable only for slip ring induction motor. In stator current control, we are uh, changing the stator current and we are able to control the speed of the induction motor. First, we let us draw the equivalent circuit of the induction motor. So, here V1 represents the stator voltage, applied stator voltage and I1 is the stator current. It is a constant current we are applying to the stator. So, the R1 the suffix 1 represents the stator parameters and uh, uh, 2 represents the rotor parameters. So, R1 and X1 are stator resistance and reactance and X2, R2 refers to rotor resistance and rotor le leakage reactance. Xm is the magnetizing reactance. I1 is stator current and I2 is rotor current. Now, we are applying a constant current to the stator winding. So, this is represented by I1. First, we want to calculate the torque equation and how this torque depends upon the stator current. We have to find out so that we can control the speed of the induction motor. So, for that, let us calculate the rotor current first. So, while calculating this rotor side parameter, we can neglect the stator side. So, let us uh, neglect the stator reactance and find what is the rotor current. So, rotor current I2 is equal to, so up, I am applying current division rule. So, total current I1 into other reactance divided by total reactance. So, I1 into Xm divided by root of total values. So, here R2 by S, so resistant part square plus reactance is X2 plus Xm the whole square. Now, we will calculate the motor torque. Uh, motor torque is equal to mechanical power developed divided by speed of the motor. So, Pm by omega m. What is Pm? 1 minus S times air gap power. Omega m is omega s into 1 minus s. So, let us uh, cancel these two. You will get torque as Pg by omega s. What is the air gap power? Formula is 3 into I2 square into R2 by s divided by omega s. Uh, I2 square, I2 we have already calculated. So, let us substitute this I2 here and simplify the torque equation. Now, we will find the maximum torque. So, what is the condition for maximum torque? According to maximum transfer theorem, power transfer theorem, when the resistance part equal to reactance part, maximum power transfer will occur. So, the resistive part is equal to reactance part equated. You simplify this one and find what is SM. So, now you got the slip value at which maximum torque will occur. So, substitute S value in the torque equation, this S value in torque equation and simplify it, you will get torque is equal to maximum torque equal to this one. So, here omega S is 2 pi N S by 60 and N S is 120 F by P. So, you can substitute here and X M and X 2 also you bring in terms of frequency so that we can simplify the torque equation. You simplify it. So, you will get something like this. 
So, 3 p by 4 L m square divided by L m plus L 2 into I 1 square or you can say that torque maximum torque is directly proportional to I 1 square. So, by controlling the stator current we are able to control the maximum torque. Now, see the speed torque characteristics for rated current which is shown in green color the starting torque is TS1. But if I reduce the uh, rated current to half its value the torque is getting reduced. And one more thing we have to note down here is that at rated voltage if we see the speed torque characteristics the starting torque is greater compared to with stator current control. How to achieve the stator current control? The only thing we require his, uh, here is a constant current for the stator. So, that can be achieved from a current source inverter will give you a constant current. So, here induction motor is connected to the current source inverter. Uh, the input for the current source inverter can come from a fully controlled rectifier uh, the output of which we connect a inductor because inver inductor can smoothen the ripples and give you a constant current. The points to remember here are the speed of the induction motor can be controlled by varying the stator current. We have seen that the maximum torque is directly proportional to the square of the stator current. The only problem here is starting torque is lower when compared to that obtained with the rated voltage control. And a three phase current source inverter can be used to provide the constant stator current for the three phase induction motor. If you like the material, please subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.